Alright, so basically, I recorded this entire video, and it was using the wrong microphone, so you could hear a lawnmower going and my laptop fan going off. So that was great. Alright, since I'm, you know, I'm in, I'm just in such a better mood now, because I have to redo this whole thing. Um, so, Howl's Launcher Mark Three. Okay, basically this, this 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 little thing here, this third revision of the Hallows Launcher, uh, it kind of sucks to be honest. <laughs> this is 800 Robux more expensive than the Mark II, which automatically makes it completely not worth it because once you look at the stats, it is not that much better than the Mark II. It's cost 210 at a dealer, um, like all of its stats except like. One are all buffed, but none of them matter because none of them are substantial buffs. Like, okay, pretty much, okay, like, personally, I think the biggest buff between this is probably that it has an inspect animation. That's cool. That laugh, you heard that? When that laugh happens, uh, the rocket goes about 20% faster, at least according to one test that I did. Which could totally be an outlier. Uh, this thing still has all the same problems that the Mark II had, which, uh, you know, it sucks against armor. If your aim is bad, then obviously it's gonna suck. It's not that much better than the Mark II. I think that they're both interchangeable. Um, the Mark II can do more damage than the Mark III. Generally, when you hit someone with the Hallows Launcher, they will go flying in the air and they will fracture some of their limbs. Now, because you obviously can't control, like, oh, okay. well, I just messed that up. <laughs> Alright, look, basically, uh, I already forgot what I was talking about. What was I talking about? Okay, like, the Mark II can do just as much damage, if not more damage, than the Mark III, and vice versa, obviously. Because uh, you can't control how many uh, limbs someone will fracture when they are thrown into the air. That is literally just up to random chance. So the Mark II can actually do more than the Mark III. The Mark II will never do more damage from its rocket alone. Like you have to take into consideration uh, the fractures because otherwise, yes, technically, yes, the Mark III is better than the Mark II, but it's by such a slim margin that, you know, again, I think they're interchangeable. Yeah, uh, they can do the same damage, if not, like, more, one can do more than the other or less. And it is not dependent on if it's the Mark II or Mark III, both can outperform each other. I am inclined to say that this guy is probably Generation Z. So, the, the, the Mark III reloads, like, half a second faster, I forgot to mention that, I'm just looking at the script now. Oh yeah, speaking of scripts, I wrote this script, and I was like, okay, um, I'll try to find time to read it, because uh, recording's hard, and then um, I, 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 I didn't read it. Okay, to be honest, I'm kind of glad that I messed up the entire thing, because now I just remembered to give groundbreaking information. Um, I already forgot what it was. What is this guy doing? Wow, that guy's aim sucks! He got owned! <laughs> uh, the greatest increase that the Mark III actually gets is the um, blast radius buff, which is horrible. Like, that's like the most useless thing. What is Privet? Privet? What the hell does that mean? Wild theory, but I don't think this is what he meant. Yo, this doge is going crazy. What the? Yeah, anyway, the Blast Radius buff is the biggest buff that the Mark III gets, which is terrible because you're almost always landing direct hits with this thing. Or at least you should be. I don't think I've ever hit, like, two people at once with either launchers. 
I mean, it can happen. I don't think it would help that much that the blast radius is larger. Maybe you could get, like, two more people hit with splash damage so they'll be stunned for, like, half a second. <laughs> um, speaking of stun time, the stun time is also longer and the damage is uh, more and the reload time is faster and the recoil control is also increased because you really need that recoil control after you shoot it once. So if we take all the stats into accountability, uh, the Howl's Launcher Mark III is uh, 1.25 times better than the than the Mark II. Anyway, yeah, it's 1.25 times better. And that's taking all the like base stats into like the equation, I guess. What the hell? Oh, okay. Okay, but yeah, the uh, Hallows Launcher Mark III is only 0.25% uh, better than the Mark II. And now, is a 0.25% better weapon worth 800 Robux more than the not 0.25% better weapon? No, it's not. Oh, so I took 31 damage from that. For some reason, the rocket jumping damage is actually kind of similar. Um, but you know, it's probably because both damage, uh, like both amounts of damage that are dealt from both launchers are pretty similar. So that's probably why. Uh, with the Hell's Launcher Mark II, you take like 28 damage from rocket jump. Um, overall, is this thing worth it? No, this thing is not worth the money that you're paying. Uh, this thing is not really worth the money that you pay, because it's 2,500 Robux, or about like 30 USD. And for $20, you can already buy, like, games and stuff to survive. What happened to you? And $30, I mean, you know, you cross another threshold, like that's, that's like rent money right there, totally. You know, I can stomach you know, throwing away twenty dollars, that's that's doable. But you know, thirty dollars, that's like Ew, I can't do that. Um, to be honest, if if you're on the fence about buying the Mark II or three, uh just buy the Mark II. Alright, look, it is not worth what you're paying. Um Look at that fractures. I did ninety six damage. In another in the previous recording, I did ninety two damage with the Mark uh, two. I will put those side by side. There is not that much of a difference. Basically, is this worth 2,500 Robux or 800 Robux more than the Mark II? Uh, I think not. You know, just, just my opinion. You see that reload time? It actually saved me. Wait, hold up. Well, he's down. I didn't even realize. You should buy it if you actually like it. Um, like, if you think this looks cooler than the Mark II, go ahead. If you think the buffs are worth it, go ahead. If you just like buying the Game Pass items to collect them, go ahead. Buy it. I know I've made the concluding statement like 5,000 times, but uh, in conclusion, um, I don't know, make your own decision, dude. If you have $30 you want to throw away, I guess this is a good use for it. Uh, I don't have anything else to say, I think. Watch, I'm going to remember everything else I had to say, uh, just as I end recording. Okay, bye.